What's up? What's up? This is RMJR, host of the D Program Show. And topic we're talking about today, special topic. And the reason I say special, because the D Program Show is all about recognizing the program. Gucci versus Jeezy. Jeezy versus Gucci, the versus battle. Um, I want you all to understand that it was the reason why they brought this versus battle when they brought it. And it's the versus battle itself is a mind manipulation thing. But we're just going to talk about Gucci and Jeezy. Gucci and Jeezy are two of the most detrimental artists of our time. Well, in the last 20 years, we'll say that they're the there are two of the most detrimental artists of the last 20 years. And the reason I say detrimental, their influences have led to a lot of people being in jail, a lot of people being killed. And one of the things I want you all to understand is the Trap Museum, Trap Museum by T.I., or he helped put it together, or he's the founder, or whatever. The Trap Museum, Trap Music was brought about in the early 2000s. This is 2020. And the reason it's a setup. First setup, they said it was going to be Jeezy and T.I. And all of a sudden, they moved T.I. out the way. And that's T.I. I mean, I'm sorry, that's Gucci and Jeezy. One of the things I want you all to understand about this is T.I. T.I. is one of the guys... It's a step-by-step -step process. T.I., he, like, laid the foundation for the trap. Trap, if you don't know, is selling drugs or getting caught up. That's why they call it a trap, if you didn't know. But Gucci and Jeezy. Jeezy. Jeezy appears, appeals to the corporate guy, the business guy, the business drug dealer, the big timers, so to speak. Or... More like your blue collar drug, drug dealers per se. Gucci. Gucci appears to your rug, raw thug, gangster, just bite about it, just to do whatever drug dealer. But at the end of the day, they pushing the same thing, trap. Gucci promotes drugs in a high form. Jeezy promotes drugs in a high form. One thing I want y'all to understand is... It's a setup, man. And they got anybody who been going to the Trap Museum. I guarantee you everybody who's went to the Trap Museum had watched the verses about it last night. And it's a play. It's a play on words. They're mind manipulating us to keep following these guys. And a lot of people have followed Jeezy and Gucci right to the grave. I'm going to say that again. They have followed Jeezy and Gucci right to the grave. When at the end of the day, Jeezy and Gucci got paid. Jeezy and Gucci got paid. They did the versus battle. A lot of people was out here living what they put in their music. It's the soundtrack to your life. But they sitting back getting paid. They in their big house. They chilling. They went to the club. They play with your emotions. Uh, what is it? Thug motivation. That's Jeezy's thing. Trap or die. That's one of his first mixtapes. Gucci. In my trap house, wasted songs of that nature. Man, come on, man. We got to do better. But at the same time, we keep falling for the okie doke because the majority of the people in the South, especially, was tuned in to Jeezy versus Gucci. Even the people who work jobs, they going to get you. And see what, what you don't understand is once you put. In the forefront that Jeezy and Gucci is cool, you get your King Von situations, you get your Mo3 situations, you get uh, Doe when people trying to prove themselves to be cool. Because Gucci especially is known, they call him the trap god. Interesting. They call him the trap god. And Jeezy is known as the snowman. When... Their job is to influence you to sell dope while they get paid. They sit back in their house or whatever and do their thing. And it's crazy, man, how they set us up and we keep going for the same okie doke. So pay attention. Jeezy Gucci 
both detrimental. And once you introduce your children to Jeezy and Gucci, let's be honest. Over the last 20 years, especially in the South, all your rappers, the majority of your rappers in the South, not all, the majority of your rappers in the South want to be like Gucci. I'm just be honest. They do. You look at his influence on the game, the rap game, and the majority of the, the musicians want to be like Gucci. That's why they be so real to a default when they can't let nothing go and they end up getting killed or they end up killing somebody to prove how real they are. Yeah, it's like that. So, Jeezy. Jeezy promotes the, the third motivation. Uh, what'd he say? I'm the realest in it four times in a row. What'd he say? He got trapped of the year four times in a row? Yeah. You ain't seen what I seen. I could fit 100,000 in these Sean John jeans. At what cost, though? They lead our people astray. Very detrimental to our people. So I just want to make this video for y'all to understand that following Gucci and Jeezy has led to the destruction of our, us as a people. And when I say us, I'm speaking of lower and impoverished people. But let me just keep it real, especially black people, because we as a people have embodied lived out what these dudes put in their lyrics and it's got a lot of people in the grave like you hear gucci call himself big goo now people are all caught up on being the, the big dog and this and that and the third and they caught up with having this street persona and ain't nobody gonna disrespect me in no way shape or form even in words that's gonna lead you to your grave Gucci and Jeezy are detrimental. This the D program show mini clip. Gucci and Jeezy versus battle. It's a trick, man. People tuned in, they're going to keep buying their music, and it's going to produce. Gucci has already produced a whole generation full of rappers. Jeezy's produced a generation full of rappers. And I'm going to leave y'all with this. Most people 30 and below, 20 to 30 years old, most are G, I mean Gucci fans. 30 to 40, Jeezy fans. Just pay attention. Or if you consider yourself a real street cat, you're a Gucci fan. If you just feel like you just dibbled and dabbled in the streets, you're a Jeezy fan. Because they play on the emotions or the quote unquote realness of wherever you was at. Don't care what box you in, as long as they get you. We got to do better, man. G's in Gucci versus better. Yeah, it's a trick, man. They got you. You watched it. You got caught up in the hype. I ain't going to be. I'm going to be honest. I watched it. I didn't get caught up in the hype, but I definitely watched it just to see the mind manipulation that was going on. And it was at an all-time high. This RMJR. We got to wake up. Quit following your Jesus and your Gucci's. And T.I., you ain't slick. T.I. is especially, he's like the ring leader. You have the guys who pull the screens, and then you have your foot soldiers. Jeezy and Gucci are like your foot soldiers. That's why they put T.I. on his pedestal and let him set up the trap museum. And when I say they, I'm talking about this system. We got to wake up, man. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, The D Program Show. Ring the bell. Share this. We got to wake up, man. We got to do better. Quit following your Jesus and Gucci's of the world. Because while they getting paid and living their life in the studio, a lot of people dying and going to jail in these streets. I'm out.